All right, today we're going to go over three red flags to look out for while you're dieting. You do any of these, that meal plan you're on, probably not going to work. I really just want to say stop eating like an asshole, but it's a little more nuanced than that. Let's get after it. All right, red flag number one. When somebody hands me their diet and says, hey, what do you think? And it's a Venn diagram dumpster fire of a meal plan. I just hand it back and say, good luck with that. When it comes to dieting, complexity is not your friend. You should have keep it simple, stupid plastered in a refrigerator because you got to remember that 99% of people don't fail on diets because they don't work. It's because they get two days in and on that third day, they wake up in a cold sweat covered in crumbs and they're like, shit. If that's you, I recommend dumbing it down and make it as easy and simple to follow as possible. The diet's not the problem. It's your self-control. You need to build that mental muscle and just follow a structured plan. And I'm just as guilty of this. It seems like about every six months I wake up and go, holy fat mess. And then I realize I got to reel it back in. Now, when this happens, I take a very extreme approach because I know my only issue is I can't sustain from trying to clog my arteries with cereal. So what I do is I make it as simple as possible. I figure out a meal I really like that has the exact macro percentages I'm trying to hit for the entire day. And I eat that for every single meal. Gives me a very clear, you ate it, good job. You didn't, you fucked up. And this is not something you do forever. You just build back the ability to follow a structured plan and then you make it a little bit more diverse, a little bit healthier. Red flag number two, never fails when somebody says, you don't understand, I eat incredibly healthy. I'm just not getting the results I want. And say, okay, first we need to make a distinction. Are you eating healthy or do you have a specific goal? There's a big difference. Usually what happens is they try to blur the line between the two. I get a hold of their diet and I'm like, holy, how do those diabetes taste? The amount of fruit I see on people's diet is insane. It always comes with the justification of, yeah, I'm eating it because it's healthy. You can't prioritize micronutrients and expect your macros not to just go to shit. You gotta decide early what you wanna focus on, to eat to get healthy or to hit a specific goal. I always direct people, aim towards the goal. You can always supplement. There's an entire industry built upon it to give you what you're lacking. Red flag number three, when people start justifying things on their diet, when they say, you know, I can't get rid of that pre-workout meal. I need to have carbs in there. Otherwise, my workouts suck. If that's the case, I hope you carve up before you have sex with your wife because otherwise she's shit out of luck. Just be honest. You love carbs and I do too. I'm no way saying that they're bad. I'm just saying that's the wrong mindset to have when it comes to dieting. You shouldn't be thinking about the things you can't live without. You should just say to yourself, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get the look I want. And it comes in other forms too, which I'm sure you've done as well, where you just destroy legs and you're like, oh, I feel, I feel beat up. I mean, I feel weak. I think I need to, I think I need a whole pizza. Now I'm sure we would have been better off sleeping an extra hour that night, but the asshole in us all justified it. If you like this video, watch this one next. Also, this is just another one of my favorites, but most importantly, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after you get growing. Talk to you soon.